my sequels friends welcome to another episode of how to tuesday where i teach you how to do something that is going to help you with your reselling business today's video is all about how to photo room so if you've been hearing a lot about photo room as i have and you're struggling a little bit with your pictures and trying to achieve a nice crisp white background which fyi is loved by Google, eBay, and other platforms, and you want to know how can you do this, then you will definitely just want to keep on watching. Hi Sequels friends, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It is so wonderful to have you here and so great to see or to come across some new faces and subscribers on my YouTube updates. So thank you, thank you for all of you guys have, who have been subscribing, joining in the conversations and hitting those like buttons. If you're new here, my name is Heather and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark eBay and Etsy and I use this YouTube channel to document my journey. So as I said in the intro, today is going to be all about photo room. And let me tell you from the start, if you don't already know, this information that I share with you is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. It is all my true 100% valued opinion. Now if I get to the point where I am ever sponsored, please rest assured that I will not sugarcoat it. I am still here to tell you whether or not these things actually work for me. So because I follow a lot of resellers, I've been hearing a lot about this photo room and I do believe the person that motivated me the most to give it a try is Amber Resells. And I'm sure you're already following her and if you're not, I will link her channel below. You will definitely want to. She is awesome. She gives great details. She loves to deep dive into the nitty gritty, which is one thing that I'm a huge fan of. Um, so if you haven't come across her yet, for some reason or you're new to reselling, you will definitely want to check her out. So that is where I first heard about Photo Room. I have been somewhat struggling with my pictures. <laughs> I have a very small, small office. I have two windows, which you see, sometimes I'm struggling with my videos as well, that bring in light. And I do not have, as a part-time reseller, the time or effort to take pictures at the same time of day all the time. So sometimes my pictures are spectacular and awesome and sometimes they are not. I have an extremely, extremely small office space that is the only space that is dedicated towards reselling. So I do not have the means of putting in a big old uh, photo booth to take pictures of things. Um, I have a gray painted wood paneling walls which may not be the optimal uh, background that I would choose to have. Um, there's just a lot of factors that go into why I felt photo room may be an option for me and I'm sharing them because it may be the same reason why it's an option for you. I have tried a lot of programs to help whiten the background on things and for me personally they take too much time and effort. <laughs> when I saw this program I said okay it's been some years since I've tried this let me just go ahead pull it up and give it a try. And I gotta tell you guys, I am somewhat freaking amazed by this program. <laughs> it is super easy, it's super quick. It's like using a magic wand to where it just erases the background. And if you're like me who have used programs in the past, you will be amazed to know that the magic wand actually works. It doesn't go all wiggly around the pattern. It doesn't make it look weird like it's floating on a background. It literally just removes it. And for the hundreds of pictures that I've done at this point, because I've been using it for I think about two months now before I give you a full report on it, for the hundreds of pictures I do, at least 90% of them, which is probably a low estimate, it's probably closer to 95, but I'm gonna err on the caution, uh, the side of error and say 90% of them. You don't have to do anything besides push the button. The background is perfect and it collects everything every single time. 
it's amazing. Now for some of them, if you like to do multiples in one picture like I do, sometimes it doesn't catch all those things and you can go in there and just say, hey, I don't want, I want you to include this part and that part in itself too is super duper easy. This is what I'll end up doing. Take all my pictures on my phone in a batch because it's quicker. Then I take all those pictures and I shove them into photo room. Bop, 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 as you'll see next, super easy put them all on white backgrounds, hit save, and then because I have Apple stuff, my phone sends everything through the cloud to my computer. I go on my computer, all my white pictures are waiting for me, and then I load everything onto my different selling platforms. It is amazing, it is super simple, and it is well worth the $9.99. I think it cost me $10.15 with everything included per month. It is well worth it. I am loving it. Let's flip around, show you my phone, and just show you how super simple it is. So right here is the Photo Room app. You just, after you've downloaded it, just click it to open it. And as you can see, you can start from a photo, which is that plus sign right in the middle. But I'm going to scroll down and show you that there are all sorts of magazine covers. You can do special little graphics like I showed you, um, like some of the stuff you can do on Adobe Spark that I showed you before. Um, you can make all sorts of cover pictures and do a lot of different things with this. But my main concern is to whiten the background. So I start from a photo. So I click that plus sign right there. Welcome to my photos. You'll see some pictures of me because these are things I'm working on. Um, I'm going to go to the favorites where I have my photos. Now up in the top left hand corner you'll notice that I selected multiple so you'll see little circles on every single picture so that I can select multiple photos these are all a bunch of things that I'm working on sharing with you soon um, but if we bypass those we can grab some of these older photos that I have with the normal gray backgrounds I was using and let's use these to create some white backgrounds so as you can see super simple I'm just picking them all up after we do that, we're going to hit that blue bar next button at the bottom. And once we hit that, it'll open up into a new window. And here we are. It's automatically starting to scan. It's automatically removing the background. I have done nothing besides select these photos. Now it pops it up there and right under where it says most recent, I have a photo on a white background. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to pull up all the photos that I have to adjust onto a white background. And all I do is up at the top, I'm clicking on every photo. So this shirt I click on, it's taken off the background. Next, I'm going to move over to this Christmas sweater and here we go. It's taken off the background. But wait, there's a little bit of schmutz left over on this picture. You could see it up at the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit that manual button. And now we have the tools and there's a little eraser that's highlighted at the bottom and there's also a paintbrush highlighted at the bottom. If you click on that eraser like I'm clicked on now, you're removing stuff. The other one is to add to, which I'll show you shortly. You also have different paintbrush sizes to grab so you can um, do whatever you need based on the detail that's required. I'm pretty rough about it because I don't want to take much time to do anything. And once you do that and it's done, you move on. We'll move on to the next one. It's clicked, it's white background, it's done. This hung up for a little second as it's thinking about it, probably my internet, <laughs> and it's clicked and it's done. White background, white background. Now I click on that 7, 8 next, and here is a share button. Click on that arrow and you have the ability to save it to your phone save it directly to Poshmark or share it through other devices. So let's give it another try. I'm back in my photos again. I have selected that up at the top left hand corner, that multiple so that I put all my little circles on each photo so that I could select multiple photos. So again, I'm scrolling all the way down this time to get to some more photos to use. Here are a bunch of old photos that need white backgrounds. Let's select them all just as we did last time. And then we hit that blue pro next button. Once we click that, it starts it scanning. It is removing its background. It is doing it on its own. 
click on that so that I can start clicking through each one. So up top, I clicked on the purple shirt, it removed the background. Up top, I clicked on that scarf, but look, it did not remove everything correctly. So we're gonna click manual, we're gonna hit next, and this time we are going to um, select the option that lets us keep something rather than erasing it. So we give it a minute here to load up. And we're gonna select that paintbrush instead of the eraser. And we're gonna go in the exact same way we did with the eraser on the shoulders of this mannequin, which it um, did not keep for us. It went ahead and cleared that out. So you just easy peasy, I mean, it is so simple. Go on in there, do a little bit of scribblies, and here we are, it's almost all done. And as soon as it's done, we're gonna hit that blue done button and we're and it's perfect. We move on to the next one. In this dress we clicked on and then we're gonna click on the next dress and then we're gonna click on this jacket. It is removing all of them simply on its own. There's no changes to be made. Like I said, the majority of them are just done by the program. Super simple. Once we get to the end, we hit the 1112 hit our share button, and then decide if we want to save, send directly to Poshmark, or um, share in another avenue. Super, super easy. So what do you think, guys? That is amazing, isn't it? I cannot get over the fact that 90% of the time, it completely removes the background. You don't even have to tell it anything to do. And to be honest with you, most of the time, you don't even have to wait that long. This is a truly amazing program and I absolutely love it. And I gotta tell you, now that I'm in my shop and I have more of these all white backgrounds in there, I love the way that it looks. I think it's so much better on your eye as a shopper that you hone right in on the item. Nothing, nothing to distract you. And I just love how clean it makes my shop look. In fact, I will, cause I don't have all my pictures done yet. What I've been doing is as my items come up um, on eBay to renew, then I go in and when I renew them, I update the front photo only to make it a white background picture because my hope is eventually all my pictures in my shop will be a white background. And it really makes a huge difference. I'm gonna put in some, um, some um, I'm gonna input right here what it looks like across different platforms. So on Poshmark to kind of show you how clean and bright everything looks, um, I can also show it to you against a category that I have where not all the pictures are white and it becomes more distracting. On eBay, of course, their algorithm supposedly loves a white background. Google supposedly loves a white background. So it should help you be seen more by having them white on this platform. And then Etsy, I was kind of worried about because they're a bit more artsy fartsy and like things sometimes more stylized and stuff. But I gotta tell you, I think it just looks great. It just really showcases the item itself and I think is well, well worth it on top of the fact that it takes next to no time to do. So if you haven't done so already, I would highly, highly suggest giving it a try. It is super simple and I think you will really enjoy it and think it's worth, especially that only $10, $10.15 I think it cost me a month. Um, I'm just really, really impressed by it. So I would love to know in the comment section below if you have gone ahead and pulled the trigger and give it a try. I know there's a lot of other programs out there, but this is the one to me that is just, you can pick it up and it's super intuitive. And if it's not super intuitive for you, as I always say, part of the wonderful aspect of this how-to series is that you can just pull this video up and have your phone in hand and actually go through the process side by side with me until you feel comfortable and get a hang of it on your own. So let me know in the comment section if you're using this or other white backgrounds. If you're a fan of the white backgrounds or if you prefer a bit more stylized, um, artsy kind of background, I just love to hear from everybody to see what your personal opinions are. I tend to be a no-nonsense reseller. I'm not super into extra packaging. I'm not super into extra backgrounds. I just like 
straight to the point stuff, which I think is just my personal minimalist aspect or style. But you may be more of a maximalist and like other things, so feel free to share your opinions in the comment section below. I know as people are rolling into this video, they will always appreciate um, multiple sides of the conversation and they would love to hear what you think, even if it disagrees with me, because who cares if we disagree? We like to get a well-rounded opinion here. This is a channel all about reselling, so let's share all aspects of it. And of course, we're not gonna be in agreement about everything all the time. And you know what? It doesn't really matter, because there's plenty market share for us all to get some money and do things the way that we like and see fit. So as always, if you found this video useful, please do go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Your thumbs up, your comments, your uh, your interactions really help me on this channel. Let me know what kind of content you like and what kind of content to create the future. And if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you're notified every Tuesday and Friday when I upload new videos. So I hope that this video was super helpful to you. I hope that it makes you feel more confident to go ahead and give Photo Room a try. And I will see you on Friday with a new all about reselling video, which at this point is yet to be determined. So it'll be a surprise to both of us on Friday. <laughs> Thanks so, so much for tuning in. I appreciate all of you here being part of the sequels family and have a fabulous week and I will see you on Friday. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.